So my name is Matt Abrahams. I'm a lecturer in the Graduate School of Business, and one of the courses I teach is called Effective Virtual Communication. And one of the big challenges that I've had in this course is how do we actually assess and assure that when we're communicating in a virtual way, be it teleconference, video conference, or webinar, that we're engaging our audience. We know there are things we can do to be more engaging, but how do we know if we are actually getting the audience to be engaged? And that was the problem I sought to wrestle with as part of this program. So my course starts on Monday, so we're going to put into practice some of the things that we learned and, and uh, experiment with some of the technology that we looked at. It's really in its infancy, the technology that we can leverage to help with this particular problem, but we've got lots of different ways of infusing this type of technology. From one thing we're doing is a, a telepresence tool where actually you roll into a meeting with your face projecting on an iPad uh, and a robot moving you around. We're using some tools to assess what people are actually looking at on a screen when they're engaged in a webinar. And the challenge we're finding is, is not only incorporating the technology, but how do we keep our students focused on their message and the goals they're trying to achieve, while at the same time using these new modalities to be more engaging and to assess engagement. So, so we're actually making things a little more complicated for the students, but ultimately the results of what they're doing will hopefully be better. Before VPTL, I was really floundering, and I really didn't know where to go to learn about technologies and others struggling with similar issues. But as part of the TWT program, I was able to get connected with people doing this type of work on our campus and elsewhere. And since then, I've learned a lot about different tools and different approaches and methodologies for engagement. And the course this time around is absolutely benefiting from that knowledge, and I certainly can see how in the future it will even get better.